second day on our two-point perspective drawing project, remember that we are making a city block that looks like this. Now I'm gonna be grading your artwork based upon your ability to show me that space gets farther away, that you have lots of space in your drawing. So the closest thing, or the biggest thing is this corner right here and everything else gets smaller as it goes away. And that means that you must have a horizon line, you must have vanishing points, and you need to draw the tops and bottoms of your buildings to the vanishing point. So I'm gonna review quickly what we talked about yesterday because after teaching, I noticed a lot of you were really struggling and that's okay, I'm gonna get you there, okay? So this is where we ended at the end of video two yesterday, but let's back up a little bit. If you didn't follow along with the instructions that I'm about to do, um, that is why you're, you're confused and that is why this project is extra difficult for you today. Um, so I want you to back up on a fresh piece of paper if um, your project didn't look like this at the end of the day and things didn't look quite right. So remember we're going to start with our horizon line through the middle of our paper. So I don't have a ruler at home. Even if you don't have a ruler at home, you can still do your horizon line through the middle of the paper. So notice it's just a line through the middle of the paper. It doesn't have to be fussy or special in any way. It's just a line. Even if the idea of the horizon line doesn't make sense to you, you can still draw a line in the middle of your page. Now I'm going to draw what's going to be the corner of my building. So this is gonna be the front corner of my building and I'm just putting a line somewhere in the middle. Now my line is not gonna go all the way to the bottom and it's not gonna go all the way to top. If you are someone who's at home and you don't have this super long piece of paper that I'm giving you in person, you added those extra pieces of paper onto your drawing. Now for the sake of reviewing here, I'm not gonna do that, but hopefully you added those extra pieces of paper and had your vanishing points farther out. So here's my two vanishing points that I'm gonna use to connect or to draw the top and bottom of my building. So this line here in the middle is the corner of this front building. So we're gonna build our box. So I'm gonna use my magazine edge here as a straight line and I'm gonna draw the top and bottom of the right side of my building. And before I draw this line, I wanna make sure that my straight edge is connected to this vanishing point here. So when I'm drawing the right hand side of my building, I need the top and bottom of my building to be connected to my right hand side vanishing point. So both of these lines here are going straight to the vanishing point. If they continued on forever, they would go right to that dot there. But my building doesn't go to infinity. So I'm gonna draw a straight up and line, straight up and down line there for the end of my building. So that's the right hand side wall of my building and I can erase my vanishing point through the middle. And now I'm gonna do the same thing for the left-hand side. The left-hand top and bottom walls go to the left-hand vanishing point. And I don't want my wall to go forever, so I'm gonna draw, whoop, there's my doorbell. I'm gonna draw my line there. I'm gonna go get the door. All right, now since my building isn't see-through, I'm gonna erase this horizon line. So now I have this box, which is gonna end up being a building, that is sitting on the land. Here's my horizon line. Everything below my horizon line is the land. So my sidewalk and my road and grass and trees would grow out of this part. And here's my sky up here. So if I wanted to draw clouds or an airplane, I would do that. Lucy, you think you could be louder with that wrapper? Wanna say hi? That's Lucy, she just got home. She's having a snack. All right, so this is hopefully helpful to review so that you can continue working where we left off yesterday. So if yours didn't look like this at some point before adding the, the um, road and the sidewalk and other buildings, you need to back up and do this. So if you didn't have this horizon line, if you didn't use your vanishing points, if your building corner isn't in the middle and it's not coming down to the sides here, um, you're gonna have a problem. So you really wanna be at this point before moving on.
And then you could go back and revisit the other videos from yesterday to get up to speed on this point. So I've got my road, I've got my sidewalk. Here's my corner store. This is my business that I'm gonna own. You're gonna decide what you want your business to be. And I have all these other buildings here and they all look like they make sense in space. Things that are close to me look close and they're getting smaller as they go out to the edges towards my vanishing point. So today what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys how to make your windows and doors. So the rule of doing two point perspective, whether it's a building or whether it is a window or a door, is the tops and bottoms of things. So the top of a wall, the bottom of a wall, the top of a window, the bottom of a window. The tops and bottoms, the things that are horizontal in your picture, must always be aligned to a vanishing point. Now you have two vanishing points, so sometimes it's confusing which one am I gonna use? Well, on your building, if you're on the left side of your building, you're gonna use your left-hand vanishing point. If you're on the right side of your building, you're on your right-hand vanishing point. Now let's look at this big skyscraper back here. It has a left side and a right side. So if I was gonna do a window on this side here, I would have to make sure the tops and bottoms of my window went down to this vanishing point. I need to make sure the tops and bottoms of windows on the right side go to the right side vanishing point. So I'm gonna practice by adding a window and a door on my business here. So I'm gonna add my doorway to the right hand side here. And I want my door, um, this is a one story building. If I wanted this to be a 10 story building, I could do my doors really tiny down there and then it would just be this giant building. But this is gonna be a one story building. And so my doorway might be, top of my door might be right about here. Now I know this is the top of my door and it's on the right hand side of my building. So I've gotta use this vanishing point on the right hand side. So that's the top of my door. I'll do the sides of my door here, nice straight up and down. I don't want it to be angled. It should be straight up and down, just like the edge of your paper is straight up and down, okay? So now there's my doorway. I already have the bottom of my door because it's connected to the bottom of my building, but notice that the top and the bottom of the door, both, if those lines continued, would end right here. Everything gets sucked into the vanishing point. Okay, now I'm gonna do a window over here, like a little shop window. Um, I want my window to be pretty big, about like that, okay? And the top and the bottom of my window must, must, must be on the vanishing point. So I'm gonna draw the top of my window with my straight edge lined up to my vanishing point right here. And I'll draw my window there. And then I'm gonna do the bottom of my window and the bottom of my window must be on the vanishing point, which means that my straight edge or my edge of my magazine or my ruler or whatever I'm using goes right to this vanishing point here. Okay, and now I'm gonna make the side of my window here. So today I want you to practice adding windows and doors to all of your buildings. Now, if you are adding things like bricks or um, maybe it's a skyscraper that's made of all glass and all windows, any of your horizontal lines, like if it's the horizontal lines of the bricks, are gonna have to go to the vanishing point. So um, when we look at this one here, you can see that these bricks are, the lines of the bricks are going all the way to the left vanishing point and the ones on the right are going to the right vanishing point. Now this is kind of a, a cropped image, so we don't see the vanishing point, but you can see how all the horizontal lines on the right side of the buildings go to the right side vanishing point, they angle down that way. And on the left hand side of the building, things angle down to the left. So all these different kinds of windows using the same rule, all doors and windows, buildings, any detail that you add is going to be on the vanishing point if it's a top or bottom of something. Even this sign, the top of the sign, the bottom of the sign, the top of the door, the bottom of the door, the top of the windows and the bottom of the windows all go to the vanishing point. So today we're gonna focus on adding windows and doors to all of our buildings. Good luck. have fun adding your windows and doors today and I want you to keep in mind that this front building here is going to be your business that you're going to own. So I want you to be thinking about what you want that to be because tomorrow we're going to talk about adding some details like signs and lights and decorations. So I'll see you then. Bye guys.